More updates to the Windows 2012 Essentials box. Let's get started. You've seen me upgrade my Windows Home Server and I turned it into a brand new box using some existing parts and a couple of new things. And uh, the intent there was uh, for me to get away from Windows Home Server version 1 and move to uh, Windows Server 2012 Essentials. Uh, so I you know, took care of the hardware part and then I did go in and, and load uh, the software, the new software, configured it and everything was working okay and, and um, connected my PC to it. And one thing that I noticed though that was uh, my backups were failing because I was running out of space. Um, and that's sort of understandable because of the way that I configured my storage spaces and I'll show you that in just a little bit. Um, but what I ended up doing was I ordered a um, an extra two terabytes worth of space. This is a Western Digital Red Drive. Um, I'm going to be putting this in the server and then I'm going to be configuring the software to to uh, add this to my uh, uh, to my backup storage pool. And one thing I really like about these drives, at least if um, what they say is correct anyways, is that these are actually manufactured so that they're a little bit easier um, to work with and be used in an environment where they're going to be on all the time, so like uh, uh, in a NAS. And in my case, my uh, home server is going to be on, um, or is on, all the time. And uh, the intent, hopefully in the future, is that I'll start to swap out some of my uh, existing hard drives in the home server and start replacing them as I need to with uh, some of these uh, Western Digital Red drives. Uh, from what I've read and what I've seen, uh, these are actually pretty decent drives. I got an awesome deal on this guy from Newegg with, um, you know, like a, a sale plus an extra discount and some other stuff. So I actually got this for like 99 bucks, which um, I think is like a steal. Uh, I would have ordered two, but um, I just didn't do the one for now. Um, so I'm going to put this in the uh, server and then I'll get it configured. I guess it's uh, worth mentioning that uh, this is a SATA drive, obviously. Uh, it is uh, supporting uh, the uh, faster SATA 6 gig per second speed and uh, 64 meg cache. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you've definitely seen me add hard drives and modify this case just a bunch of different times already. But one thing I wanted to show you is that I'm now using all six SATA ports that are available to me on the motherboard. So if I ever want to add more storage, I only have uh, really two options. Uh, one is to add an expansion card with uh, extra SATA ports or um, start swapping out some of these smaller capacity drives that I have here and that's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, as um, these drives get cheaper, these Western Digital Red drives get cheaper um, or just really any larger capacity drive uh, gets cheaper, I'll start swapping these out and the way that Windows 2012 server uh, manages those storage spaces that ends up being a pretty easy thing to do. So I'm at my desktop here and I'm going to hit this alert on the uh, Essentials dashboard and you'll see that I've got an alert saying that I've got a new drive and under the task I'm going to hit this uh, format and configure and then you'll see the two terabyte drive right there and I have an option to uh, use it to add to a storage pool and I'm going to add it to my backups which is uh, the point of this whole thing and hit next it's gonna prepare and then I'm all set wanted to show you the uh, storage spaces that I set up and uh, so I'm back at the dashboard and I'm gonna go in the hard drive section and then this advanced uh, manage uh, screen right here and I've got two storage pools set up the second one down here is the one that I'm using for backups and you can see the uh, three hard drives that I have in there and then that last one of course is the two terabyte drive that I added. Um, if I go up here and show you the uh, first storage pool, this is the one that I'm using just for um, for data. So this just has a 750 gig drive and a 300 gig drive. Okay guys that wraps it up. Definitely follow me on Twitter. You'll get updates on when new videos are posted as well as some high quality tweets from me. Definitely like and subscribe because uh, that helps me out a ton. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.